Hey there, welcome to Try React.js episode three. In this one, what we're gonna be doing is just displaying JSON data in any component. Doesn't actually matter what component it is. It's just displaying JSON data itself. Now, I do recommend that you start with the playlist at the very beginning. Start with episode one, otherwise you're gonna probably get a little confused. That's gonna be true going forward. Okay, so I've already got my project all set up, and what I'm gonna do in here is take a look at my posts data. Now this post data is really simple JSON data. This is mimicking what a backend API service might send to you. So to use this, what we're gonna do is open up inside of our source, we're gonna make a new folder in here, and I'm gonna call it posts. And inside of that new folder, I'm gonna go ahead and make a new file called postlist.js. This of course is going to be my component. A shortcut to remember what, how, and what I do with components is just opening up app.js, copying that, and then paste this component in. Now a lot of these things in here aren't really that important, so I can actually get rid of everything um, up into the point of something like that. So that's the very basic component, and you know, we can say hello there, or hello world, whatever you'd like. Okay, cool. So now that we've got this, I'm gonna change this app to post list and export that default to post list. And of course, I'm gonna import this now into my app.js. So inside of here, we're just gonna go ahead and do import post list from posts slash post list. Cool, very simple import, not a huge deal here. I'm gonna get rid of all this and render out that component. So we've learned a couple things already. One of them being that this is a very simple way to render a component. The other way is look how simple creating a component class actually is. It's not that much code to render out various things. Now this is actually not that useful until we actually bring in some external data and display whatever that external data might be. In this case, it's just a JSON dictionary. Now I can actually keep this JSON dictionary and not need a backend service at all. I can still use this to help format how my app's gonna look. So I wanna import that data itself. And to do this, we're gonna say import, and I'm gonna call this post data from, and then where's it from? Well, relative to post, it's dot dot slash data slash posts dot JSON. Now again, these are relative imports, so it's going dot dot meaning go back up to that source level, look for that data folder, and then posts JSON. And since I've got this now, I can actually iterate through this data by going like this. So iterating through the data is using post data or whatever that post data is, dot map, and then we use two parentheses in here and a fat arrow with some curly brackets. This actually iterates through everything Inside of these curly brackets, we wanna return something. In my case, I'm just gonna return the H1 of the item. So I wanna actually return whatever the post title is. So to get this, I'm gonna go ahead and say the post detail and the index, as in the index in the array. So looking back in the JSON, this is an array of data, right? So that's why I know I can iterate it. And each one of these things is what I'm calling post detail. So it's just the iterated item. This is an arbitrary name that I gave it, but it's fairly accurate to what this data is. So using that, I can put some curly brackets here, post detail dot, using dot notation, I can grab any one of these items. So in my case, I'm just gonna grab dot title. Close off that H1 tag, save it. I now have my component completed. So we can test this by just running npm run start. What this is gonna do is it's gonna run our server, as you may already know, and it will give us our React app in here. So let me just look at that. And hello there, hello world, set up React. Okay, looks like things are going well. The next portion, of course, is, well, let's actually get more data here. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap a div tag around these things, close off that div, and then put a p tag in here and post detail is the name of the argument I put there. Um, and then the content for that blog is this, it's just content. So post detail dot content and close off that p tag. We save that. Since npm 
run is go or npm run start is going we can go back in and what do you know we now have some content in there very very simple way to actually iterate through any sort of array but also to more specifically iterate through a json array thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to get everything otherwise we'll see you next time